everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, we finally got to that point of the year when the temperatures are starting to turn a little cooler, but that means the leaves are going to start changing and falling. And I know you, as a realtor, give people tips about things they need to do to watch out with their homes. What about fall? <laughs> Absolutely. Fall is when, like you said, the leaves have started falling. The worst thing that happens when, when the leaves fall, mm -hmm. gutters get clogged. That's oh. the, the common thing. So this is the time you just want to make sure, keep your roof cleaned off, keep your gutters cleaned out, make sure if there is a heavy rain that you don't have any backup or anything like that. And then of course, you know, with your curb appeal, if your house is listed or you plan on listing it, just make sure and keep those leaves out of the way, keep everything clean and nice. It's not going to be as pretty as spring and summer, but you can definitely still keep it looking clean and nice for anybody driving by or looking at the house. Right, and if you have your home listed, that's just that little bit of work mm -hmm. could pay off in the end with a quicker offer. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. talking about curb appeal, let's talk about five listings that have some really good curb appeal that people would definitely want to take a look at these homes. Okay. The first one right here in Pike County on Lower Johns Creek. It is. This is one that's on Pinson Branch. If you're familiar where, where the mouth of Joe's Creek comes out on Lower Johns Creek, mm -hmm. Pinson Branch almost sits directly across from that. So it's pretty easy to find if you're looking in that area. This house is not far up Pinson Branch at all, only about a tenth of a mile, sits on your right. And this is one that has so much space. It's very deceiving by the pictures. In this area, I know that um, you know this, but it's very popular. It's not uncommon to drive down Lower Johns Creek and see elk mm -hmm. and to see deer and everything else. It's an area that's very, a little different terrain than some of Pike County. You've got some flat areas. Right, and a lot of wildlife. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about spacious, I mean you're looking at 25, almost 2,500 square feet and that's not including nearly 2,000 square feet of basement space. Exactly. This is a, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. All the bedrooms and usable space is upstairs for the most part. Um, you do have a family room in the basement with mm -hmm. a fireplace that's great for a teenager hangout or if you needed like a mother-in-law suite or something along those lines, it does have an exterior entrance on also. You've got a great front porch to sit out on and, and just enjoy these evenings. And then you've got a sunroom on the back side of the house also. Exactly. And the owners, when they did the front porch, they actually told me when we did the listing, they did it for a second living room. So that front porch is set up. It's got tile floor. It's got the curtains that can come down and do complete privacy. It really is a separate living area. If it's something that's piquing your interest, especially when we tell you it's under $170,000, um, to give you a call to get that showing scheduled. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is one that they've also done a lot of renovations on, so mm -hmm. it's not one that you're going to have to go in and throw a new roof on. They've already done a lot of that work. So Right, and you've got hardwood and tile mm -hmm. for your flooring and just a lot of extras. It's got a fireplace. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely give Jennifer a call if you're interested in this one. 167.5 for this home on Pinson Branch. Um, and that MLS number is 107 Six two eight. Now this is your listing, so mm -hmm. let's give that Pi phone number. Okay, you can call us at 606-437-2333. Okay, now moving along to our second listing. Uh, now this one is just outside the city limits of Pikeville. And by just outside, literally probably by feet. <laughs> uh -huh. This one is right off Ratless Creek Road. Um, like we were talking about before the show, you're honestly about halfway down Ratless Creek depending on whichever way you're coming. So right. if you come from Town Mountain or if you come from US 23, you're going to be about halfway down Ratless Creek. And a, a very large home at 2,700 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And the master bedroom is easily one of those bedrooms that you can do a king bed plus mm -hmm. all the king furniture and still have plenty of comfortable room. It's a very nice size master bedroom, has a private bathroom off of it. So this is one that it would be a great family home or a home where you needed the extra space. Mm -hmm. This is great. And then on the outside, I mean, you're looking at this home as sitting on two acres of property. Mm -hmm. You don't find that very often, this close to the city limits of Pikeville. You don't, and a surprisingly large amount of it is usable. You have a very nice size yard. So this is one, the rest of it kind of gives you some privacy behind it, but you do have a lot of usable yard space. 
Right. And then looking at the at the front side of it, I love how you describe that front porch. <laughs> you call it the Romeo and Juliet porch. That's what it reminded me of. I'm not sure that's the technical name. Uh -huh. But yes, on the uh, kind of front side of the house, there's a Romeo and Juliet porch. It's a, kind of a second floor balcony porch. Very pretty. And that actually overlooks all the yard. Wow. Well, this one is a great home with a great location as far as accessibility to Pikeville, mm -hmm. two different ways, either come in from Town Mountain Road or from US 23. So 285,000 is the price on this one. The ad, Rattles Creek Road, so you can drive straight up through there and see it uh, mm -hmm. from the main road. So if it's something you're interested in, give Jennifer a call or they can email you. Absolutely. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. When you email her, reference 107595. That is the MLS number that will bring that house right up and uh, get your showing scheduled. Now, moving on to one that has just been reduced. Now, this mm -hmm. is one that's going to get some attention today. Absolutely. This is one that, like you said, it's been reduced and so we've talked about it before. This is off Right Fork of Island Creek. It's a little less than a mile up Right Fork of Island Creek. Again, very close to the city limits. You're kind of a stone's throw away from being in the city of Pikeville. It's an older cottage, but they have completely renovated it. So you have all the older charm with all mm -hmm. the new updates. I think just referring to it as a cottage mm -hmm. just sounds warm and cozy. <laughs> and then when you look at the pictures, I mean, it is. I mean, it just is one of those, it reminds me of wintertime with the fire going in the fireplace, um, that kind of home. And then when you look at all the updates that they've done to it, it's like, you can move right into it and not have to do anything. Absolutely. This is one when they redid the kitchen, they put in a black granite countertops mm -hmm. with the white kitchen cabinets, which is a very popular look right now, very bright and airy. Um, it's got its own private dining area, and then they've done a lot of updates with new windows, new vinyl siding, new flooring, new metal roof, new heating and cooling. So all those major systems have been taken care of. And then it's sitting on two and a half acres of property. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got room for a garden, you've got mm -hmm. room for a pool, fence in the yard for the children or the pets. You've got room on the outside to do whatever you want with. Exactly. And this is another one that the two and a half acres is actually mostly usable property. So um, you can have lots of parking if you're somebody who has people in and out. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, like you said, a swing set or anything that you'd want to put on there. You've got plenty of room. And Right Fork of Island Creek is accessible to Pikeville. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're within a less than a 10 minute drive, maybe six, seven minute drive, but yet you are out in the country. Yes. So you're getting the best of both worlds, accessibility to shopping and business and everything else that Pikeville has to offer, but you don't have to deal with the traffic and stuff all the time. You can escape to it every evening. Exactly, exactly. And this house really is an escape. It's one that you can kind of go in and you just breathe a little easier when you walk in the front door. And this is one that is definitely priced to sell. And when mm -hmm. we say that, people are already saying, okay, how can I get a hold of somebody to go ahead and look at this house? So let's give that Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. And feel free to ask for any of our agents there. Okay. All right, this next listing that we're going to talk about, or actually the last two that we're going to have, <laughs> are practically in downtown Pikeville. Now this one, a lot of people know when we say Fields Way, they know that we're talking about townhomes. Mm -hmm. well, this is and it isn't. It's one of the front street on Louise Lane, mm -hmm. and these are single story, a little bit more of a patio home style, and there's only two connected, so they're not, you know, a big long line of townhouses or anything like that, which means this is an end unit, and this is on the end unit where you actually have yard space, you've got privacy, you've got the ability to do additional parking, to do a fenced yard, mm -hmm. to do a garden. So this is almost like, you know, a home. You're looking at a home, but your upkeep and your maintenance is going to be a lot less. Exactly. And this one has HOA fees, which a lot of people are going to be familiar with if you're going into a restricted area. Mm -hmm. um, the HOA fees actually take care of some of that yard maintenance and the snow removal and the roads. That way, again, you don't have all that extra. So if you've got a super busy career, if you've got kids that require a lot of time or something like that, this is a great house that you don't have to worry about as much. And I'm thinking a lot of, of someone who is just retired mm -hmm. and they're wanting to do a lot of traveling or they want to spend their winters in a warmer place, um, all of a sudden you can go, well, I'm going to sell the house I'm in 
and I'm going to reduce all of my maintenance to where I'm free to do all the things I want to do. Exactly. This house has tons of closets. The garage mm -hmm. has tons of closets. The attic space is shelved with closets. So this is one that you also, you know, if you are an older couple that are retired, you don't have to get rid of everything that you had to downsize uh -huh. or anything like that. The interesting thing about this one is when uh, we listed it, the dining room actually had a dining table in it that comfortably sat eight to ten people. So there's not a whole lot of townhouses you're going to be able to get that size of table in comfortably. Right. So just remember this is a patio style home. You're going to mm -hmm. get, get townhouse living but you don't have any stairs exactly. to walk up and down. Everything is on one level and you're right off basically right off Hambly Boulevard. The price on this one, $295,106838 is that MLS number. Um, and they can call you or any of your agents in the Pikeville office. Correct, correct. That number again, if you want to call, 606-437-2333. All right. Now, just going down the street, just mm -hmm. a little bit, um, is another home that's right on the hill in Pikeville off Mount Martha Drive. Correct. And this is one that again we have talked about before but they just reduced the price on it which is why I wanted to bring it again and uh, talk about it. It's an older home, still has that older home charm, original mm -hmm. hardwood floors, original trim throughout the house, right under 1500 square feet, kind of a Cape Cod style that sits right off Mount Martha. If you have anything to do with downtown this is a great location. It is, and then you're seeing that it is an older home and it is cute by looking at the pictures, mm -hmm. but then when you can say it still has the original hardwood, that brings in the history and the charm of you know, what Pikeville used to be and so much history in that area. Actually, for any Hatfield McCoy mm -hmm. history buffs, I mean, you've got the cemetery close by that, that's got the Perry Klein grave, and that gets a lot of tourists to come into this area. And to think that you can live that close to so much history I mean, Absolutely. that's worth what this home is worth, you know, to a lot of people. Absolutely. The great thing about this one, that a lot of the Cape Cod style houses, it does have the three bedrooms, one bath. It also has kind of an office den space mm -hmm. that you don't usually have a whole lot of extra space in a Cape Cod style home. So this one actually has that additional space, which is great if you want to work from home, if you want to have a playroom for the kids, anything like that. I mean, it seems like the key to this show has been storage. Yeah. <laughs> every, every listing that we've talked about has just had some great storage, and this one is no exception. Yeah, and in addition, it also has an uh, unfinished basement, like you said, but off of that, you've got a fenced backyard. If you're familiar with Pikeville, a fenced backyard on the hill is a big deal. Now, I am sure that we have your interest peaked with all the history that we've talked about this home and everything it has to offer. Now we're going to tell you the price, $129,000. So if you were already interested, I'm sure that price, Jennifer, just moved it to the top of a lot of people's lists. I hope so. That's a great price for downtown Pikeville. Right. 106-689 is that MLS number. Now we've given the Pikeville office phone number a few times. Let's give your email one more time. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. Now hopefully we've given you five listings to look at. Uh, that you're interested in, but always know that, you know, we're just giving you a small sneak peek at what they have to offer. Your website has, you know, infinite number of listings and all price ranges. Absolutely, and we invite everyone to visit the website. It's rbnw.com with and spelled out. Okay, now I'm going to step out and let Jennifer do her real estate minute. Are you looking for a new and exciting career? Red Rhino Williams Real Estate is currently looking for licensed agents and appraisers in all of our office locations. If you are self-motivated, hardworking, and looking for a challenge, then contact us today about a career in real estate. Our company is committed to training, mentoring, and supporting our agents throughout their careers. If you're interested in joining the top producing real estate firm in the region, then contact us today. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red, Brown, and Williams Real Estate Show. We hope to hear from you soon about one of our many listings.